let's go on now to the book that everybody wanted to talk about. The book that put Dark Hawk number one to shame. Of course, we're talking about the next, 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 next best thing. The next future, future flagship character of Marvel comic books. We're talking about Spider-Boy. Yes, that is right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know who Spider-Boy is, come on, man, get on the train. Get on the train, man. Spider-Boy. Spider-Boy. The number one character, the most important character in all Marvel comic books. Okay, let's talk about this story. I won't I won't continue on with my, you know, memeiness. Uh so Spider-Man number 7. This is the current Spider-Man run. Not amazing not to be confused with Amazing Spider-Man. It's a different Spider-Man run uh, that is written by Dan Slott. And this is a book that is for all intents and purposes, I would consider this like this year's Tosin Aduye book, right? Like, I think that that's a pretty accurate comparison. This this is like a Tosin Aduye situation where this character has sort of just been anointed as like, this is the guy, right? Like like Marvel, all the media publications, whatever, where like Spider-Boy is, is the future of this character. If you guys don't know, this is a book that came out just this past Wednesday. And let me see if I can pull up an article that kind of paints the right picture for you guys. So of course, Spider-Man number seven came out just this week. Now this right here is cover A, first appearance of Spider-Boy. This is the, uh, you know, the Spider-Verse kind of meta storyline, obviously Spider-Boy from another, you know, multiverse or whatever. And this is cover A right here. They also have the uh, Timeless covers, the Alex Ross ones. Uh, the Dr. Octopus Alex Ross one also happens to be for Spider-Man 7. So, so both of these covers have the first appearance. And then there's a sketch version of the Alex Ross thing. And then there's this like Transformers kind of variant that also has it, the uh, Carlos Gomez variant. And then there's this one right here, which is the one that I showed you guys, which was called the Top Secret variant. And this is the one that, of course, has Spider-Boy on the cover. And this is the one that right now in the market, people are absolutely losing it for this book right here. And, and this one is... This one is curious because at least the Tosin Aduye book, you know, if you if we remember, it was like the one in 25. This one, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe someone knows in the chat, but it is very unclear to me what ratio variant this is. Now, it's called the top secret variant or the top secret spoiler variant. I think that it's that people were saying, but it's not clear that it's like this is a one in 25 or this is a one in 50. I'm not certain that this is a ratio book at all. So we have absolutely no idea what the ratio is. If there is even a ratio. And I feel like there isn't. Because when I go on to sold listings on eBay, I mean, guys, what are we doing here? You know, this 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 is like cover A amounts of sales, right? So So it doesn't really feel like this particular book is like a one in 25 or a one in 50. I could be wrong with that. I mean, maybe you guys know, but this is definitely the hot book of the week, of the month, of the year so far. Uh, hitting price points, um, I'd say, you know, around the $30 range, around the $40 range, 35. I mean, it depends on what you get, like even live auctions ending at 42 right here. So I would say minimum $25 book, upwards of 50 right now. And who knows where this is going to finish? It, it, it's definitely massively, massively, you know, popular right now. And everyone is hopping on this thing. Now, one of the other interesting parts of the story is that, again, this book just came out on Wednesday, right? Before the book even came out, before it even came out, like the day before it came out, there was already publications that they're going to do a second print for this. That's how hot this book is. Now, again, it's really hard to kind of measure what that really means as far as like, like, you know, Marvel is doing re second prints of a book when they know that uh, a lot of retail orders have happened for it, right? They don't actually know that it's flying off the shelves. But I think based on the sales on eBay, we can kind of understand that this is a pretty popular secondary market book. So we, we, we can tell. But 
as you guys can see, second print, they're coming out with this one right here. This is the cover of the second print. I'm not a fan of this personally. Look, look, I'm no expert when it comes to new comic books and FOC and stuff. Like you guys know, like you don't come to my YouTube channel to talk about, you know, uh, the, the FOC cutoff, right? But what I've been able to kind of determine in terms of all the books that I've sort of seen and all this sort of time, it's like usually a second print, you're already kind of late to the game, right? If it hits second print, this is the point where everyone realizes, oh, like this is a super, super hot book. Like I'm going to hop on the second print and the second print usually has an even higher print count than the first print time around. At least this was the case with the Tosin book. Now, the other side of that is that Tosin, at least in his second print, they put him on the cover for the first time. Because if you guys remember, Black Panther number three, both the A cover and the one in 25 cover, and the Jusco variant and the other variants that existed for it didn't have Tosin on it. And it was the second print that put Tosin on the cover. So that at least was giving this sort of added benefit for the second print. Whereas in this situation, I mean, you already have this cover, which is the top secret spoiler variant or whatever it was. And then now you're putting him on the cover here. Sure, he's next to Spider-Man if, you know, that's kind of your jam. But but it doesn't really feel like this is providing any added value. Now, the controversial part, slightly controversial part, is that they're also doing a second printing 1 in 25 variant. And guess what that is? It's just the top secret cover, but the virgin version of it, you know? So, I, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I always feel like it's like you, you come out with these variant covers and you just put them in black and white or, you, you know, you make them the ver virgin version. I don't know. It's always kind of disappointing, in my opinion. You know what I mean? It's always like one of those things where it's like, like, wouldn't it be cool if you just got a completely different artist and provided a, a, a completely different thing, like a, a different aesthetic? I feel like that's the best way to do variants. So that that way, someone could be like, hey, I don't like this style, but I like this style. And then you can hop on that. But again, this is the craziness of this book right now. Now, let's go a little Pepe Sylvia Town here. Let's go a little Pepe Sylvia Town. Let's talk about why people are memeing on this a little bit. Again, much like Tosin Aduye, much like Tosin Aduye, this feels like it was like a marketing campaign as far as like, we're going to make this the next hot character, right? Like all the publications were already talking about this. Dan Slott, who wrote the comic book, I'm sure you guys know Dan Slott. I think Dan Slott is credited as having more written issues of Spider-Man than any writer. And this was a character that even he was kind of going on the campaign trail saying like, oh, Spider-Boy, this is the biggest, most important character, you know, that there is in all of the history of Spider-Man comic books. This is the character. So he was hyping him up. And there's already been a lot of like, um, you know, they've already kind of inferred like, oh, like when we get to Spider-Man number eight, you know, the next issue that comes out, I think in like May or whatever, it's going to be his origin story. A little bit of, you know, just so you guys know, again, this is in the Spider-Verse franchise. Spider-Boy apparently has the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the century kind of backstory, right? Where he's always existed, but everyone forgot that he existed. So like in some of the dialogue, which, you know, they show in some of the preview pages right here, he's like, huh, what are you talking about? I'm here right in front of you. It's me, Spider-Boy. And then he's like swinging around and he's like, really? After everything we've done? And they're all like, who is this kid? So it's kind of in this like wibbly wobbly multiverse thing, kind of like the century. And so they're going to, again, I don't really care. I don't really care. But obviously they're going to kind of retcon like, oh yeah, Spider-Boy, was he's been in all involved in all these stories. Like member, member when Spider-Man was fighting Venom. Spider-Boy was uh, his sidekick. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Spider-Boy, as far as I understand it, is kind of like a Robin to Batman situation here. Like, like it's not just that he's Miles Morales. It's like, oh no, he's Spider-Man's sidekick. Like Spider-Boy is the Bucky Barnes to Captain America. Spider-Boy has been Peter Parker's sidekick 
you know, in, in his multiverse, in his canon. So I'm sure they're going to go on this like thing where they, they're, they're clearly the storylines will be like, oh, let's take popular Spider-Man comic books from the past, get the member berries going, get the nostalgia bait, redraw the scenes and put Spider-Boy in there. Like he's always been in there, but everyone forgot about him. So they're going to kind of retcon and insert that stuff. So everyone is going nuts over Spider-Boy. And like I already showed you guys, I mean, this is a lot of sales. So, you know, you know, sometimes I'll do the videos where I talk about like the FOMOs and like we make jokes or we play like the Benny Hill music, you know, and, and, and we see how many eBay pages it is, right? eBay pages. Like, I feel like that's a good way to do it. Be like, dude, guys, we're, we're, you know, we're six pages deep on eBay here. You know, we're six pages deep. Like that, that's when you know, you know what I mean? How many sales there's been? I mean, there, there's more than that. Can I go to nine? Oh my, no way. Can I go to 10? I'm going big guys. I'm going to 13. Are we 13 pages deep? Okay, no, we're not 13 pages deep. We got to back it up, back it up. Let's go, let's go 11, 11. No, no, okay, okay, all right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. All right, we, we we 10 pages deep. 10 pages deep on eBay when you start to see the pre-sales. Pre-sales on March 31st right here. Look at this guy. This guy got a good deal. $7.99. Should have been this guy, guys. Should have been this guy. But, you know, again, that goes to show when you're when you're 10 pages deep on eBay, I mean, that's a lot of sales. That is a, that is a lot of sales on the secondary market. And... Again, I think this sort of begs the question. I've already seen, I've been seeing you guys kind of in the chat a little bit, uh, trying to trying to catch up. But what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? Spider Boy is the next big thing. The next big thing of what? Do we think Spider Boy is going to be in the Spider Verse movie? Probably not. Like, why would we think that he would be in the Spider Verse movie? Is he maybe going to be in the third Spider Verse movie that comes out? the year after, I guess, maybe, but sometimes I feel like we look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Isn't that kind of like what, what it feels like? People are buying this book for 35 to $50. Well, here's a book, Amazing Spider-Man 10, first appearance of Spider-Punk, right? Spider-Punk is a, uh, in the Spider-Verse universe a character created by Dan Slott, who, by the way, is actually going to be in the Spider-Verse movie. And what does his book sell for? Same price, 50 bucks. I get a 9.4 for $41 right here. I can get a 9.8 for 137. I saw pre-sale 9.8s of the Spider-Boy book selling for 129. I mean, you got Spider-Punk right here. You know what I mean? You got all these Spider-Verse characters. Do we really think Spider-Boy is going to be like the guy? Who is Spider-Boy? What do we know about him? I mean, he wears sneakers like Miles Morales. <laughs> I mean, you know, if he wears sneakers, he's going to be cool. He's going to be cool. But I thought that that was really interesting, right? You know, we, we, here, here's here's a character. It's right there. Spider-Punk, same amount of money, already is the next thing. He's like literally the thing now. He's going to be in the movie now. Created by the same character or the same creator, Dan Slott. You know, it, it, it's just so funny. It's so funny. I get it. You know, look, just because people are buying Spider-Boy, maybe they already own Spider-Man 10. That's very, very possible. You know, they probably do because they like all the Spider-Verse characters. You know, maybe they have Spider-Man UK, a book I can get in 9 8 for $83. Here's another Spider-Verse character. I think Spider-Verse, I don't think Spider-Man UK is actually in Spider-Verse as well. Here's a character who he's not only the next, the next thing. He's he's uh he's in the thing that is the next thing. I just think it's so funny. It's so funny, but this is where we have to, again, we got to pump the FOMO breaks, right? We got to pump the FOMO breaks on this one. Cause what is the, what is the ceiling potential for this book? 
where do we see this really going? I mean, I, I didn't even talk about Peter Porker. Shout outs to Peter Porker. If you want a Spider-Verse character, same price. I'd rather have this book personally. Talk about th- talk about a book that has fallen off, guys. This book has way fallen off. I mean, P- Peter Porker is the time to buy. Peter Porker is the time to buy. Oh, wait. Shout out to Dan here. Stop talking shit. He is new. He's the kid. Enough said. Spider-Boy to the moon. You right. You right. You right. Maybe Spider-Boy. To- I'm just jealous that Dark Hawk doesn't have sneakers. <laughs> I'm just jealous Dark Hawk doesn't have sneakers. Uh, Black Panther number three, Tosin Adouye. Where does this book sell for today? Right? First appearance of Tosin, nine eights, 1,422 nine eights on the census. Wow. That is a book that got slapped a lot. Third day moving, 127. So we're we're at the point, right? Tosin Adouye, we're at the point where this book is selling for what the pre-sales for Spider Boy are selling for. Now, I mean, I guess. I, I, you know, I actually, you know, really, let's think about this. What do you guys think? Do you think that when it's all said and done, three, no, 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 three is too short. Five years from now, five years from now, who is going to be a bigger character? Tosin or Spider Boy? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Five years from now, Tosin or Spider Boy? Who is the bigger character? Would you rather buy Black Panther number three, nine, eight for a hundred and twenty dollars on an eBay auction? Or would you rather buy the nine, eight right now of Spider Boy pre sale for what do we say pre sales were? In fact, actually, let's find that out as you guys see, you see pre sale. Pre sale, 130. So same price. All right, survey says, all right, let's see. Justin with the Tosin, Greg with the Tosin, Zabit with the Spider-Boy, D'Artagnan with the Tosin, Cameron with the Spider-Boy. What a, what a Spider-Boy homer. What a Spider-Boy homer. Uh, Yolo bro with the Tosin, Austin with the Spider-Boy. Okay, Spider-Boy, Spider-Boy, Spider-Boy. Okay, it started pretty hot for Tosin. I'm seeing a lot of Spider-Boys coming in late. I'm seeing a lot of spider boys coming in late. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. Look, look, listen, listen. I'm one of you guys, man. I'm team spider boy all the way. All the way. I've been a day one, a day one spider boy fan. I'm I am all about the young boy. Wait, that sounded wrong. 